So this is certainly one of the coolest boxes out there in terms of uh, Mezco 112 Collective. Uh, a tin can, almost like a lunchbox slash toolbox looking uh, design. It could be both, right? It looks like a toolbox. Could be a lunchbox. Anyways, it's very cool. It's metallic, or it's it's metal, metallic, whatever. It's metal with some images on it, some graphic art, and it just looks really cool. I mean, the last time they did this was with the Popeye, you know, the exclusive Popeye, which was a spinach can, a very big metal spinach can, and that was really cool too. So I like when they do stuff like this, very creative and very, uh, very nice for collectors too. We like this kind of stuff for sure. So you can't see him, but Gomez is up there. So there he is up there. And on the side of the packaging, we have an image of Gomez wrestling, a big old uh, pig, looks like. And then we have the backside, which shows kind of like an Ultraman Gomez back here, fighting a big old uh, kind of Godzilla human looking character. And we have the samurai or the shadow Gomez, not sure which one that is, up here, fighting some creatures, slicing all their heads off. And then on the other side, we have Stealth Gomez. Looks like he is carrying this boombox everywhere he goes and all these images. So there you have it. We got some bullet holes on the um, design itself. So that's cool. Um, so that's that's your packaging here. And it does come in a plastic cover, of course, like all Mesco is doing. You can carry it from the handle on the very top right there. All right, so you open it, of course, by unlatching these two pieces here of course here's the mezco sticker i kind of overlooked that but that means it's an exclusive this is an nycc exclusive to be more specific and there you go so it's packaged all in here believe it or not and this is how we get the figure inside so let's see if i can get it on frame there kind of sort of might have to adjust the camera a little bit let's see there you go so on the left side we have gomez himself and on the right side we have all the weapons and you can see how they uh stuffed in the clamshell um, so it could fit inside of here. So let's take Gomez out first. So I guess we're kind of doing like a sort of an unboxing. This is, this is a special packaging, so we might as well unbox it on camera. Uh, if I can get him out. So it's, at least we know it's securely inside. Alright, there we go. So there's Gomez. There we have our 112 Collective uh, pieces of paper, instructions, rifle assembly, boombox, opening feature. We know that already because of previous Gomez figures. And then we have our nice little Ziploc uh, 112 collective bag for our accessories. And now we can pull out the right side clamshells. And this, from my understanding, folds out multiple pieces in here. Oh, wow, there you go. All the hands just came out. So the hands were on this one actually right there. Live, raw, unedited on camera. There you have it. But look how much stuff comes packed in here. It's pretty impressive that they're able to fit all this. But there you go. Everything just folds together, stacks together there. And you have all the weapons staying in the uh, base. And all the hands fell out. So here we have our Stealth Ops Gomez out of its tin can of a package and after taking out all of the accessories which there is so much I think this has the most accessories in terms of Gomez they all came with a lot but this one seems to have some extra stuff in there I don't know um, I don't remember how much <laughs> accessories the other ones came with you know by count but this one definitely has a lot of stuff with it so we're gonna run through that definitely gonna run through all the accessories here is Gomez as soon as you get him out of the package this is how he comes it's got the um, the black everything, you know, we got black everything, even his head, his face is black, normally it's brown, of course, uh, and it's black this time around, so it's all blacked out, just like the Black Mask and Batman 2-pack, everything was just blacked out, it's just black everything, this this convention, in terms of the exclusives for Mezco, which all came out well, so, alright, so let's take Mezco to the side for a second and check out everything that he comes with. So these are going to look very familiar to a lot of people because if you bought Diabolic, the Mezco 112 Diabolic figure, he came with these suction cup uh, accessories so he can kind of climb on walls or roofs or ceilings, uh, you know, whatever you want. Uh, anything that a spy would do. You got these suction cups, which they actually do suction. It's actually rubber there. Um, so 
there's that. And then we have this hook claw with a rope attached to it. This is new. I haven't really seen this on anything. So unless I'm forgetting a figure, um, I don't think I've seen this in another Mezco. But there's that. And then we have a duffel bag too. Very similar to the Punisher um, duffel bag. But this one's actually made of or made to look like it's leather. So it's a different material for sure. And just like the Punisher one, it has Velcro up here where you can combine the two straps and then you have an actual working zipper and you can throw in some accessories inside of there and have a full duffel bag there and you can carry it. This is a new one for sure. I haven't really seen this one unless I don't own a figure that has this, but this is like a C4 explosive. And then we have the detonator right here. So I thought this would click. <laughs> that would have been cool. But nonetheless, the detail there is very nice. I like it. So that's cool. The watch makes a return with the time reading 112 on there, which you probably can't see right now, but it's just a watch. So very nice little detail, even though it's so tiny. Uh, we have this little like pea shooter gun here. Looks like a revolver without a barrel, to be honest. But we've seen this before. All the past Gomez figures have had that. We have a regular pistol, which looks very nice in all black. Just like all Mezco weapons, you can cock it back right there. And you can uh, take the clip out, or the magazine out. Uh, right here, it's a magazine. Uh, and that just goes right back up. So I always love that feature with all the weapons that Mezco does. And then, of course, we do have a spare magazine there. You can put that in there. So the sword makes a return too. So the sword, uh, he's had this one in the past couple, of my, uh, you know, the Agent Gomez and Street Gomez. I don't know about Shadow Gomez. I don't have that one. Uh, then we get some uh, some effects here for your weapons. It's like a high fire rate effect. Then we have like one bullet shooting out effect here. And then we have the three bullets shooting out at the same time. Like he's spraying somebody. Then we got the two canisters here making a return as well. They look kind of like they belong to Punisher since it's white and black. We do of course have the sheath for his sword. And the sword just goes right in. Just like that. So very nice and I always do like this strap having an actual clip too. And you can actually adjust the strap to the length of it. But you can actually clip it like a real one right there. Always like that. Of course, our sniper rifle that can disassemble and assemble, and you can put this inside the boombox briefcase. That makes a return too. So there it is. And then we also get a new rifle here for him. I like this very nice looking rifle. And the clip or the magazine does come off. Puts it back in there, and you do have a spare magazine for that rifle and for the sniper rifle as well of course and then we get yet another weapon we get like a submachine gun here i don't know the actual name of this weapon but i know it's like a submachine gun and i just love how this looks really like this a lot i haven't seen this on another mezco so this could be a new weapon or a new sculpt um but it looks so good they did a good job with the scope the paint the detail there even though this is all black i like the glossy black with the matte black just makes Makes it look real nice, you know. If this could be pulled back, that would have been amazing. But, um, yeah. And then there's the magazine. Comes off. Goes back in. And we have a spare as well. That is not all. We have an extra, like, uh, barrel slash silencer for the rifle. For the sniper rifle. Because these will be here. You can't fit this onto these. So it has to be for the sniper rifle, for sure. And it doesn't fit on the side on. Let's see if it fits here. No, it does not. So yeah. But wait, we're not done yet. We have a knife right here. So that's cool. Then we get a bow. This is new, at least for me, because I don't have Shadow Gomez. I think Shadow Gomez does come with a bow and arrow. Um, but this is new for me because I did not get that. And look at the detail on that. Look at the sculpt. That looks nice. And the string is beautiful. It's like a stretchy elastic string. Um, like a rubber bandish. I don't know how to call it. I'm sorry. But look at this. That just That's so good. I like that. Also, I always do have the fear of that breaking over time. So you don't want to overdo that. But still cool nonetheless. 
And of course we get some arrows. So we get these two arrows are actually different. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on these little things here. So you see the point triangle and then this one's kind of like a three-dimensional triangle like a pyramid and that one's flat so they're different there you go and we have a quiver these do not remove this is just to have it on him and then we have of course our hoverboard and I like this hoverboard just being all black it looks really good and all black and this is nice I don't they changed up the top material I'm sure because it feels like it's almost like a suede material it's hard to explain like a rubber suede looks real good though and I assume it's magnetic too yep it is you can put it on him we have the boom box which is also uh, a storage unit for his sniper rifle and with that you get two options of the foam inserts just like previous Gomez to put inside to store your rifle. We do get a backpack with this one, which uh, they started to put in the backpack in with Street Gomez. So the backpack is here. A red scarf, in case you wanted a red scarf. We have a white colored, white and black head Gomez head. And then we have the other Gomez head being all black too. So it's kind of more of a cockroach head different type of bug roach head and of course our our traditional gomez head on the figure so that's it aside from the base and stand which i didn't show that's all the accessories man that's a lot of accessories i love it that's one more can you ask for there you they loaded us with accessories here if you want to count these little i think they're stickers these came with the previous gomez's too so that makes a return in case you want more stickers for your gomez all right, that was it for accessories. I forgot about the hands. Um, almost forgot about the hands. But the hands are pretty much similar to what we've seen before, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, left hand, big open grip, so he can grip those canisters. Um, then we get two open hands right here, just spread apart. We get our middle finger, which is always cool. That's only on the left hand. We got a pointing finger. The index finger is pointing on the right hand only. Uh, this seems to be a trigger finger hand to hold a weapon, but we get a couple more here. I think these are, oh no, these are trigger fingers right here. Yeah, so they're different depending on which weapon you want to hold. It's a little slightly different on the trigger. Um, and then we have this one, which kind of seems like maybe it's to hold uh, the, the barrel of the weapon, like the under barrel of the weapon, I would say. This is just a regular gripping hand here, maybe for those suction cups. Uh, actually, one of these trigger trigger hands are probably for the bone arrow. We do get a left hand with the index and middle finger joined together there. So if you want to take a closer shot at Gomez, there's a closer look at him there in his, like, I guess it's a bulletproof vest, right? I like how snug the cloth is on the shirt. It's more like a turtleneck there. I like that snug around his neck and around his arms. I put the watch on there. It's actually on backwards because I figured, you know, in the military when they hold a gun, the watch is backwards so they can see the time while they're holding the gun. Um, so I put it backwards there. I put his pistol in his holster too so that pistol is there nicely and snug. If only you guys could see it. Now it's not blurry. There you go. Sorry. And then the blade, the knife is on the back sheath there. So that's all you can holster right now. When you put his butt back on, his backpack on, you can get some more stuff holstered in there. Uh, would have been cool. It would have been cool if we had holsters for those magazines. Just have it all here. We can put the extra magazines in there. That'd be very cool. A little extra thing. And I also do like how snug the pants are. They're not baggy. They have just the right amount of creases and wrinkles in it. And it's snug enough too. So I like that. He's got some boots on. No more Converse. Just got some. Some boots there. So you can move Gomez's head left and right, actually 360 degrees all the way around. It's a ball jointed hinge there. Well, it's not a hinge, it's just a ball, double ball joint actually. Uh, so it'll still move just like a hinge. Very nice. Look at the range there. The antennas do move around too, just like the previous Gomez's. It's the same head sculpt there. The arms are going to go forward all the way up so that cloth does not hinder it too much. You can move it all the way up, which is very nice kind of all the way back to there, uh, in and out. You see how high up it'll go out too. 
So that's nice. So this is the same Gomez body that we all love. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Uh, we do have torso articulations hidden behind the bulletproof vest, which is actually a hard plastic or kind of a harder plastic. Uh, so you're not going to get too much of a bend, but you can get a bend in there uh, and swivel as well. The the leg goes forward and back, uh, in and out here, so good range. You just see how those pants are just very well uh, tailored there. I mean, they look great, and you can move them very good, too. Nothing's really hindered, so that's very nice work. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees here. And then we have uh, the boot cut will swivel right here. Let's see if we get a better focus. There's the ankles going forward and back. There is a slight ankle rocker swivel at the foot as well, at the ankle. And you see the metal magnets are actually showing on this Gomez. The other ones had them hidden underneath the Converse shoes, but these actually have it showing for some reason, but it doesn't really bother me too much. And those who want your traditional Gomez head, you can pull that off by putting the Agent Gomez head onto this body. Fits right in because it's the same head as the black one. And there you go. So you can have Gomez, Stealth Gomez with his regular um, head here. Head or the regular color. And it looks great actually. It looks really good. You can pull it off by looking at him directly from the front. He is wearing that turtle neck so it kind of covers the neck. But if you go to the back side you can kind of see his black neck right here. Even that doesn't look too terrible. You can even say he's just wearing a long turtleneck. Um, so it doesn't look too bad at all. Since we are looking at heads, here's his alternate heads that he comes with. So this is the white head with the black mouth piece. So there's that. And then here we have the black roach head, which is my least favorite head of Gomez. All right, so here he is next to the agent Gomez, which was the first Gomez that we got. And this is actually the second release of it, because I think the first one did not come with that hoverboard, and then they added it into the second release of this Gomez. So, And then we have Street Gomez, which is by far my favorite Gomez of all of them. If I had to choose one, Street Gomez definitely is my favorite one. I just love the way this one came out. I love the street clothes. Um, and there you go. So I don't have Shadow Gomez, I can't compare it next to Shadow Gomez, that was like super exclusive, outside of the US type exclusive, not available on their website type of exclusive, so I didn't get him, there's a white one and a black one. So as of today, they are not, they're not available widely. There we have him next to a Mezco 112 Collective Joker, this is the regular release Joker. And here we have the regular release Sovereign Knight Batman Mezco 112 Collective. And my fan, my ceiling fan is on. His cape is flickering right there. It's, it's not a ghost. Next to a Storm Collectibles, we have the Mike Tyson. Next to a Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, this is Boba Fett. Next to a Dragon Ball Z figure, this is the SH Figure Arts Bandai Tamashi Nation's Majin Buu. Alright guys, that's going to wrap things up. I appreciate you guys checking out my review of the Special Ops Gomez Mezco Deluxe Exclusive. This is the New York Comic Con Exclusive. Please leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.